Dear students, topic is noble gases. I am Dr. Dignya Vargis, Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of Chemistry, Christ College, Autonomous, Irinyalakuda. Content: Discovery of noble gases. Noble gases, which is also referred to as inert gases, aerogens, or rare gases. Why these elements are known as inert gases or noble gases? Chemically, they are unreactive on account of having stable configurations that is, NS2 for helium, NS2 and P6 for other noble gases. They have filled electronic configuration. They form very few compounds. Why these are called rare gases? This is because their existence in very minute quantities in the atmosphere. They are also known as group 18 elements or group 0 elements. The members of the group 18 is helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon. They are naturally occurring noble gases and the last member is radon it is radioactive hello dear friend do you know anything about discovery of noble gases yes my dear friend i will explain the noble gases were not discovered until 1893 History of the discovery of noble gases First explanation is Cavendish's experiments. Henry Cavendish, he conducted several experiments to determine the composition of air. Cavendish, who obtained the first experimental evidence for noble gases in 1785. He taken purified air mixed with excess oxygen in a jar and he applied electric spark on it. Whole nitrogen converted into nitrogen oxides. The residual gas then passed through first in aqueous potassium hydroxide to absorb carbon dioxide and nitrogen dioxide. The residual gas is then passed into potassium pentasulfide to absorb oxygen. He found that a very small residual part is there. He analyzed this for several years. More than a century later, unreactive fraction was ex eventually shown to be a mixture of noble gases. Discovery of Helium There was a great Indian eclipse that occurred in Gundur, Madras state in British India but now Gundur in Andhra Pradesh. That was on 18 August 1868. Perry Johnson noticed bright lines in the spectrum of the chromosphere showing the chromosphere is gaseous. Later he measured the spectrum of sun, a bright yellow line measured to have a wavelength of 587.49 nanometer. This was the first observation. Later he realized that the chromosphere spectrum could be discovered even without an eclipse. Joseph Norman Lockyer in England set up a powerful spectroscope. He observed the emission of spectrum of the chromosphere that is same bright yellow line. Few years later, he worked with a 
an English chemist, Edward Frankland, named the element after the Greek word for the sun, Helios, because its present in the sun had been determined by the spectroscopic methods. Perry Johnson discovered a new element on August 18, 1868, while looking at the chromosphere of the sun. Joseph Norman Lockyer and Herbert Frackland, October 20, in 1868, found the same discoveries. Perry Johnson, a French astronomer. Joseph Norman Lockyer, English scientist and astronomer and Edward Frackland, British scientist. William Hillbrand, in 1888, he was an American geochemist, found when uranium minerals on heating giving with inert gas, the uranium minerals on heating with sulfuric acid giving inert gas. He thought it was nitrogen. But later Ramsey analyzed this in 1895 and the spectrum showed that it was helium and not much for nitrogen. Ramsey continued his experiments and he heated clevite that is an uranium mineral and isolated helium that was the isolation of helium in earth. William Ramsey and Lord Rayleigh realized an entire class of gases was missing from the periodic table. During Ramsey's search for argon, he also managed to isolate helium for the first time while heating clavite in mineral. Clavite, an impure radioactive variety of uraninite containing uranium, the composition is uranium dioxide. In 1888, Hillbrand heated clavite and it gave off a new gas. At that time he assumed that it was nitrogen but later Ramsey found that it was helium. Discovery of Argon William Ramsey and Lord Rayleigh in 1890s independently observed that the density of isolated gas from air was higher than that of nitrogen. Earlier experiments showed that some inert gas is obtained and that was nitrogen but later Ramsey and Rayleigh explained that it was not nitrogen because the density of the nitrogen is different from that of the inert gas. They continued their experiments in 1895 the element they had isolated was found to extremely inert and was named argon. Ramsey found that the argon is not attacked by any elements of very opposite character. As a result he called it argon that is from the Greek word argos which meaning lazy one. William Ramsey and Lord Rayleigh in 1890 theorized that the nitrogen extracted from the air was mi mixed with another gas. They conducted an experiment that successfully isolated a new element argon from the Greek word argos that means idle or lazy. William Ramsey, Scottish chemist, discovered the noble gases and he received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Lord Rayleigh, the British scientist who received the Nobel Prize in Physics.
Discovery of Neon, Krypton and Xenon Rayleigh and Ramsey themselves doubted the presence of more elements in the argon sample itself that they had isolated. Within three years, Ramsey and Travers, William Travers, they isolated the three additional elements by low temperature evaporation of argon obtained by the fractional distillation of liquid air. Morris William Travers was an English chemist who worked with Sir William Ramsey in the dis discovery of xenon, neon and krypton. Ramsey and Travers isolated three new additional elements by fractional distillation of liquid air giving isolation of argon which on low temperature evaporation giving a mixture of gases krypton, neon and xenon. Fractional distillation Fractional distillation is the set separation of mixture separation of mixture into its components. The chemical compounds are separated by chemical compounds are separated by heating them to temperature at which one or more fractions of the mixture will vaporize. It uses distillation to fractionation. Apparatus required for this fractional distillation is a Bunsen burner which acts as a heat source, a round bottom flask, a condenser, a big condenser, a fractionating column, and a receiving flask and a thermometer attached to this. This is an ordinary fractional distillation setup. These elements krypton, neon, xenon obtained by the low temperature evaporation of the gases these give independent spectral lines those elements named after the Greek words cryptos for krypton that means hidden neos for neon that means new xenos for xenon that means stranger. In the case of earlier periodic table, there are some vacant spaces to fill elements. But Mendeleev thought that there are only to find metal. He don't accept any missing anything from Rayleigh concept and he and really returned to physics but the scientists who discovered helium and other noble gases they want to fill separate group in periodic table but Mendeleev said that IUM for metal only it's thought his thought was his periodic table was already filled by all gases. After several conflictions and suggestions, later the noble gases were added to the periodic table as zero group elements. Discovery of Redon. Redon was first identified in 1898 by Frederick Ernst Don. 
and was named radium emanation. The element was isolated by nuclear alpha decay product of radium in 1902. Radium undergoes alpha decay giving radon and helium. By alpha decay a nuclear charge decreases by 2 units and the mass number of the product decreases by 4 units. But it was not considered as a noble gas until 1904. After that, its characteristics were found to be similar to those of other noble gases. Noble gas is translated from the German noun Edelgas, first used in 1898 by Hugo Erdmann to indicate their extremely low level of reactivity. Hugo Edman, German chemist. The name makes an analogy to the term noble metals, which ha also have low reactivity. After a several years from 1785 to 1902, Mendeleev accepted the evidence for the elements helium and argon in 1902. Dmitry Mendeleev included these noble gases as group zero in his arrangement of the elements, which would later become the periodic table. Dmitry Mendeleev, the Russian chemist and inventor. Rayleigh and Ramsey received it the 1904 the Nobel Prizes in Physics and in Chemistry respectively for the discovery of the Nobel gas. This is the William Ramsey's Nobel Prize certificate. This is all about the discovery of the Nobel gases. Thank you.